in this question lenovo limited has authorized share capital of 1 lakh divided into 10000 equity shares of rupees 10 each it had existing issued and paid up capital of rupees 25 lakhs it further issued to the to public 2 lakh 50000 equity shares at a premium of 20% for public subscription payable as under on application 3 on allotment 6 on fast call balance this was fully subscribed and allotment was made to all applicants the company did not make the call during the year so the so share capital of the company in the balance sheet of the company this is balance sheet of lenovo limited hence after drawing the proper format the first part equity and liabilities one is shareholders funds the amount being one share capital note number 1 That is notes to accounts. That is forty two lakh fifty thousand. Totaling will be then second part reserves and surplus two. That is two lakh fifty thousand. The totaling is rupees forty five lakhs. Then your asset side second part one current assets is not there. Then next one is sorry non current assets is not there. Second part current assets a part. Cash and cash equivalent. Note number three, forty-five lakhs. Now come down to notes. Note number notes to accounts. One share capital, authorized capital, ten lakh equity shares. But ten is the first line. One crore divided into ten lakh equity shares of rupees ten each. Ten lakh into ten. That is one crore is the authorized capital. Next one is subscribed capital. Subscribed and fully paid up, two lakh fifty thousand shares of ten each rupees twenty five lakhs. Subscribed but not fully paid up, that is two lakh fifty thousand shares of rupees seven each, that is seventeen lakh fifty thousand. This total amounted to forty two lakh fifty thousand. Then reserves and surplus. Here the shares were issued at a premium of to up twenty percent. Hence, twenty percent of rupees ten, that is rupees two, that is equal to it. That is equal to rupees two per share. Hence, reserves and surplus securities premium reserve, that is two lakh fifty thousand shares of two each. That is only two lakh fifty thousand. Hence, the total of a cash and cash equivalents, that means cash at bank, is forty five lakhs. And share capital under share capital head forty two lakh fifty thousand will be shown under securities premium reserve or reserves and surplus head rupees two lakh fifty thousand will be shown. Hence cash and cash equivalents will be forty five lakhs. And this is the final answer.